everyone, um, my name is Gillian and today I'll be making fish tacos for you with uh, guacamole and sour cream. We're actually using Pete Evans's uh, recipe. So this is my first time cooking it, so fingers crossed all goes well. So what you'll need to do, uh, first we're going to make the guacamole, is scoop out one whole avocado. So, uh, we want the lime of the juice of a lime. A few tablespoons of coriander. Now I love coriander, so we're just going to add a little bit extra, and we're not going to chop it up. You can choose to chop it up, or uh, or leave it fine as. You'll need to include the two tomatoes. So we're just going to chop them up nice and fine. And now I'm just going to include a chili as well. And then you just want to add a little dash of olive oil as well. Now hopefully I've done Pete uh, justice here because this is what my guacamole looks like. Uh, not sure how impressed he'll be, but uh, this is what it's all about, home cooking. So uh, here's guacamole a la gil. All you've got to do next is uh, chop up the fish into about 20 pieces because like I said we're going to make 20 fish tacos. So uh, we've chosen bassa fillet, so all you want to do is chop that up finely and then we're going to crumb it as well. So now we've, we've cut all the fish up and we've lightly seasoned it with a little bit of sea salt. Um, so now what we're going to do is coat the fish so it's ready to, uh, to fry and to make those fish tacos. So what you've got to do first is take one of the pieces of fish you've cut up. And first we've got some flour here. Now just lightly uh, coat the piece of fish, some of that flour. Then you want to take the two eggs that we, uh, we mentioned earlier and just whisk them in a bowl um, when you've got a sec and we'll lightly coat those in the egg as well so they'll pick up the crumbs. And then thirdly what you'll do is just crumb those in the cornflake crumb mixture. And there you go, ready to go and fry. First you've got to heat the oven to about 160 degrees, that's for later on, um, but for now we're going to cook the fish. So you can see here all of it's been crumbed. Um, with the flour, the egg and the cornflake mixture. So what we recommended is take a, a deep saucepan and use some grapeseed oil um, just to heat the pan really warm because we want to fry these off. So do about two or three pieces at a time. What we'll do is cook those on one side for about 45 seconds uh, and then once they're cooked on one side we'll flip it and cook it on the other. Oh, it looks so good. We've cooked the fish, it's all ready to go. Uh, I've smoked out the kitchen a little bit because I cooked the oil for a little bit too long, uh, but we're all good, so we're here to go and I'm really hungry. So all you've got to do, I've already warmed the tortilla in the oven for about three minutes, and now I'm just going to put a little bit of red cabbage that we've chopped up onto the tortilla, followed by a nice blob of peat guacamole. Grab a little bit of tomato to put in there as well. Then we'll just grab a small piece of fish to go on top. Now just for taste, you don't have to if uh, you're watching your waistline, but we're going to add a little bit of sour cream on top as well. Once again, pizza looks much more beautiful than this. A little bit of chilli. And Bob's your uncle. Really good. Peter Evans, eat your heart out. Mm.